The Miami Dolphins owner, Stephen Ross, made the decision to fire Brian Flores but his failure to fire Chris Greer will doom any chance of a championship. This isn't about Chris Greer being bad or overlooking the draft that he assembled last year. This is about a system that is broken in Miami and at the top of that system is Stephen Ross who has made a lot of mistakes since becoming the owner. Not firing Greer is likely going to be another one. Chris Greer may or may not be part of the Dolphins' problems. I have been back and forth on the subject since the firing of Flores. Like almost every move the Dolphins make, we can't be 100% certain who was responsible for a specific draft pick or a free agent. Was it Greer or was he giving in to the head coach? Regardless, ultimately it falls on the general manager. This again, is not about that. This is about fixing a problem and not creating another one. This is stopping a cycle of ineptitude because Ross falls in love with, his, guys. I used to like Ross. In some ways, I still do. He is willing to spend the money but the blank checks that he hands out are being wasted. It's his money, not mine. He has gone beyond helping the community and has consistently set up education programs to help players control the business sides of their lives. But that isn't enough. I don't know Ross as, Steve, Ross. I know Ross as the owner of the Miami Dolphins. A franchise that is a two-decade-long embarrassment. The cycle is simple and easy to fix but here we are again. Firing a head coach and not the general manager. Odds are, we are going through this again in three seasons. Ross had Jeff Ireland, fired Tony Sperano, kept Ireland, hired Joe Philbin, fired Ireland, hired Tannenbaum, Hickey, fired Philbin, hired Adam Gase, fired Tannenbaum, Hickey, hired Chris Greer, fired Gase, hired Flores, fired Flores, and now they are keeping Greer. Want to know who is going next? Miami will hire a new head coach, they will not turn it around quickly enough. That coach is going to want to move on from Tua after this season, that will cost Greer his job in 2023. A new general manager will be hired, and a year, maybe two later, the head coach will be fired and the general manager will hire his own. This is the cycle that Stephen Ross needed to break and he failed to do so. Regardless of whether Greer was a problem or not the entire problem he was in as, part of the problem. Ross wants to win and in that vein, he has failed because he isn't ending the cycle of changes that have led to the team's executive failures. The last time Miami underwent significant executive change was when Bill Parcells was hired. That was a mistake in form not a mistake in attempt. This time around, Ross is hoping, once again, that they will get this right but as much as we are seeing the general manager to head coach hiring and firing, we will also see the new head coach being saddled with a quarterback that he had no hand in choosing. Another cycle that will not be broken. This is why Ross is failing as the owner and this is why Miami will not be fixing any problems they have currently.